Welcome to Let's Talk in English, friends, here on PTS. Get ready to learn something new with us. I'm Andrea. And I'm Gabe. And it is the week of Thanksgiving, so we have some more key words here for you. The first one here is smell. Smell. Brad's clothes smell bad. He needs to wash them. Football. Football. Every Thanksgiving, our family watches football games on TV. Bake. Bake. Beth likes to bake all kinds of desserts in her oven. Pumpkin. Pumpkin. Pumpkins are not vegetables, they are fruits. Appreciate. Appreciate. I really appreciate you. Thanks for being a good friend. Set the table. Set the table. Can you please set the table? We are almost ready to eat. Well, friends, can you please say these keywords with us again? The first one is smell. Smell. Football. Football. Bake. Bake. Pumpkin. Pumpkin. Appreciate. Appreciate. Set the table. Set the table. Okay, friends, well, we do appreciate you, and Andrea, I appreciate you. Okay. What about me? I appreciate you. You appreciate me? Oh, do well, we appreciate Eddie? Eddie, of course, we appreciate you. Yes, okay. Eddie, and we appreciate that you have something special for us every day. Yes, today I have a pumpkin. Uh, no, wait, you Eddie. You have a pumpkin? Yeah. You do? This little thing. Oh, that's cute. Okay, uh, but, but really, I was talking about the mission. Oh, oh yeah. right, 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 right. Today's <laughs> mission. What does Simon want to eat? What does Simon want to eat? Well, this is making me hungry. Let's go find out. Hi, ladies. We're back. The food smells wonderful. You don't smell wonderful. You need a shower. I know. So, how was the American football game? It was fun. Simon and Hugh won. Hugh can play football? I did not know. <laughs> I don't play very well, but Simon is great. Don't shut hut! You caught the football, Andrea. Good job. Thank you. I can play football. You can play football. Friends, can you play football? This is an American sport. It is also one of our key words. Let's learn it. Football. Football. Like I said, football is an American sport. There are two teams and each team has to take the ball down to the other end of the field and cross the line with the ball. Then they can get points. Andrea, toss me the football. Okay, Gabe. Can you catch the football? I caught the football. Thank you. Good job. Now, friends, why do we talk about football with Thanksgiving? Well, in America, many families play a game of football together or they watch a game of football on TV during Thanksgiving. Yes, it's a great tradition in America. Now, Olga says, did you have fun playing American football? So there is another kind of football, but if you want to talk about this kind of football, then you can also call it American football. Well, in this conversation, we have another key word. It is the word smell smell 
Now when you smell, you use your nose to see what things smell like. Hmm, something smells. That's right. You use your nose to smell things. Now, in our conversation, Simon says that the food smells wonderful. That means the food has a good smell. But Renee says that Simon doesn't smell wonderful. So we can have good smells, but also bad smells. That's right. I hope that you are smelling great today. Where is Sarah? She is at the diner. What is she doing there? We used this oven to roast the turkey, so we needed the diner's oven to bake the pies. Pies? You made more than one pie? Yes, we made a pumpkin pie and an apple pie. Wow, you ladies were busy. Oh, we need to go, Renee. Hey, Andrea, do you know what I made? What did you make, Gabe? I made you a pie. You baked me a pie? That's right, I baked you a pie. Look at this pie. Isn't that great? Gabe, you didn't bake me a pie. You have a picture of a pie for me. Well, it's, it's a nice picture of a pie that, that was baked. Uh-huh. What kind of pie is it, Gabe? Oh, it's a pumpkin pie. My favorite kind of pie. After I apple. understand. I do like pumpkin pie, but this is just a picture. Did you really bake the pie? I didn't really bake the pie. I'm sorry. I had a little bit of Sarah's help. Okay. Well, friends, we can learn this keyword together. It is the verb bake. Say it again. Bake. Now, when you bake something, you cook it in an oven. We learned that an oven is very hot inside. When you put food in the oven, it will cook, and we say that it is baking. So, in our conversation here, Renee says that they had to use the diner's oven to bake the pies. You can bake pies in an oven. You can bake other kinds of things in an oven. You can bake bread in an oven. You can also bake cake in an oven. Well, friends, we have another key word to learn. It is pumpkin. Pumpkin. Now, a pumpkin is actually a kind of fruit. Pumpkins are small and round. I actually brought a pumpkin along here today to show all of you. Okay, so that is a pumpkin. And what can you make with a pumpkin on Thanksgiving? You can make pumpkin pie. Simon and Renee start to leave. Sarah comes in with the pies. They smell so good. Simon wants a piece of pumpkin pie. Renee pushes him out the door. Sarah stops Renee to talk to her. Sarah really appreciates all her help. Simon pulls Renee out the door. Max goes to his bedroom and Hugh goes to the bathroom. Olga and Sarah start to set the table. Well, this is a good read it paragraph. Mm. And Andrea, I just wanted to tell you, I really appreciate how happy you are all the time. Oh, well, Gabe, that's sweet of you to say. You know, I really appreciate you, Gabe. I really appreciate your joy in teaching. It's fun to teach with you. Hey, we have fun teaching together. Friends, you know what? We appreciate you too. Thank you for joining us every day. We appreciate that. And now, friends, we hope that you appreciate this key word. The word is appreciate. Say it again. Appreciate. To appreciate means to be thankful for someone, uh, for how they make you feel, or for what they do for you. You appreciate them. In our read-it paragraph, Sarah really appreciates Renee. 
Renee helped Sarah a lot. She wants to say thank you to Sarah. Another way to say thank you is to say that you appreciate someone or you appreciate what they did. You appreciate what they did. So you can tell someone that you appreciate that person and make sure you tell that person why you appreciate them. Tell them what they did that you are thankful for, especially on Thanksgiving. Well, friends, we have some other words here, and they are set the table. These key words, say it with me. Set the table. Set the table. This means to get the top of a table ready so that people can begin to eat. You set the table. When you set the table, you put everything that you will need to eat a meal on the table. And so you set the table before you eat the meal. Friends, we have found the answer to today's mission, which is, what does Simon want to eat? What does Simon want to eat? Simon wants a piece of pumpkin pie. How to. Hello everyone and welcome to How To. Today you'll learn how to thank someone. Now where is Romeo? I'm here. Oh, I'm glad. Romeo, I want to thank you today for being a good friend. And I want to teach our friends how to thank someone. Can you help me? Sure. Okay. Romeo, thank you for being my friend. This is for you. Oh, thank you, Ashley. Thank you for being my friend. Now let's look at the next way. This is for you. I appreciate you. Oh, thank you, Ashley. I appreciate you. Oh, I appreciate you too, Ashley. Oh, appreciate is another word for thank you. Now let's look at the last way. Romeo, I'm thankful for you. Thank you, Ashley. I'm thankful for you. I'm thankful for you too, Ashley. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. No, thank you so much. Okay, let's review. Thank you for being my friend. I appreciate you. I'm thankful for you. And that's how to do it. Thank you. Conversation Replay Hi ladies, we're back. The food smells wonderful. You don't smell wonderful. You need a shower. I know. So, how was the American football game? It was fun. Simon and Hugh won. Hugh can play football? I did not know. <laughs> I don't play very well, but... Simon is great. Where is Sarah? She is at the diner. What is she doing there? We used this oven to roast the turkey, so we needed the diner's oven to bake the pies. Pies? You made more than one pie? Yes. We made a pumpkin pie and an apple pie. Wow. You ladies were busy. Oh. We need to go, Renee. Simon and Renee start to leave. Sarah comes in with the pies. They smell so good. Simon wants a piece of pumpkin pie. Renee pushes him out the door. Sarah stops Renee to talk to her. Sarah really appreciates all her help. Simon pulls Renee out the door. Max goes to his bedroom 
and Hugh goes to the bathroom. Olga and Sarah start to set the table. Calendar phrase. So I just have one thing to say here, and that is Happy Thanksgiving. Okay, Happy Thanksgiving. Hey, that's a good calendar, calendar phrase. phrase. The phrase today is Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Now on Thanksgiving Day, this is a good phrase to use. Tell someone Happy Thanksgiving. That's right. It's a way to share the joy of this special holiday. Well, hey, let's share the joy together by watching today's calendar phrase skit. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Today is Thanksgiving Day. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving to you too. Hey, there's Jan. Hi guys. Jan, today is a special day. It is. Yes, it's Thanksgiving. Oh yeah. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy, Happy Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Friends, now it's time to practice what we have learned with the question of the day.、Mm -hmm. Let's go and talk to Eddie. Yes. And in, in your pumpkin. Yes. Yeah.、Oh. <laughs> Good. That's cute. What, what's that, Mr. Pumpkin? Huh? Huh? Oh, he he's giving me today's the question of the day, right? Okay. The,、uh, the and, pumpkin is、yeah. giving you the question. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, what's he saying? Okay, wait.、Huh? Okay, he says, "Who do you appreciate? Why? Who do you appreciate?" Why? Well, I appreciate my husband. I'm very thankful to have him in my life. Well, that's a great answer. I'm sure he appreciates you too. Friends, how would you answer this question? Thank you for joining us here today on Let's Talk in English on PTS, where you know learning, learning English can, can be fun. fun. <laughs> Goodbye. Bye -bye.